In this episode of Ask Me Anything, I got a question from Andy in Texas. The question was, why does that giant knot in my traps never seem to go away? I stretch it almost every day, use a foam roller, and when it gets tight, I beat it up with a lacrosse ball. I even get a deep tissue massage every two weeks, which beats me up so well. And I see a chiropractor once a month to get my neck adjusted. It seems like everything I do gives me relief for about a day or so, and it all comes back. What are I and the providers I see missing? Thanks for the great question, Andy, and let's see if we can get you some answers about what is going on and on the path to saying goodbye to that giant knot that never seems to get better. I hope you learned something new and enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Injuries Explained Project, where we are on a hell of a mission to make chronic injuries obsolete by helping anyone that is injured and in pain get properly educated and informed on all their treatment options so they can have the best possible outcomes without ever having to resort to pain pills, injections, or surgeries, which only make things worse. My name is Dr. Matt Maggio. I am a soft tissue injury treatment specialist with a focus on neck, shoulder, and sciatica pain. I am an expert at diagnosing and treating scar tissue and reducing inflammation from chronic injuries without the use of drugs, injections, or surgeries, which will lead to a significant increase in overall functioning and long-lasting pain relief. No gimmicks, just results. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out the show. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started, all of the information presented in this episode is strictly my opinion and in no way, shape, or form should be misinterpreted as concrete medical advice or recommendations. If you're currently injured and in pain, please reach out to a qualified medical practitioner for a full diagnosis. If you've already done that, you haven't got any real answers, you're frustrated as hell, you just want to know what's going on, you can reach out to us directly and request an injury consultation. All of the information to do that is available in the show notes or wherever you might be consuming this information. Now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, let's get right into the show. All right, well, it seems like this show is going strictly uh, ask me anything content. I get so many questions and I get a question like very similar to this, probably like three or four times a week. So I was glad that Andy sent in this question so I can explain really what's going on. There's really two causes of that giant knot that appears like in your trap and like almost down into like the shoulder blade. The first thing that we see there a lot is what's called scar tissue formation, specifically in a muscle called the levator scap. So muscles are really cool because they have different, um, I guess just words that explain what they do. So levator is elevate and then scap is shoulder. So that muscle's job is to elevate the shoulder. But what happens a lot in this muscle is when people have really bad posture, maybe they're stuck working at a desk all day, maybe they're just staring at their phone nonstop all day like a zombie, that muscle just gets really beat up, gets really beat to hell. And it doesn't, it's always contracted. And when this happens, it doesn't get enough blood flow, it doesn't get enough oxygen, which in turn causes the muscle to be uh, weaker and then less flexible. I dove into like scar tissue formation in one of the earlier episodes if you really want to nerd out and go in there. But basically it's like, it's just like glue that gets inside the muscles and makes it really hard for it to be able to do its job and support, you know, the shoulder. And then it ends up trying to support the neck and it's not designed to do that. So now it's trying to move the shoulder and support the neck. So it gets really pissed off and gets really angry. And that's why all that tension is in there. And that giant knot that you might be feeling is just a buildup of that scar tissue. Like I said, it's just like glue that gets in there. The next thing that could be causing that is as that scar tissue gets bigger and bigger, eventually nerves get stuck to the muscle as well. Specifically in this case, what's called your spinal accessory nerve. I'm getting a little fancy here with anatomy, but I'll keep it simple the best that I can. So spinal accessory nerve, basically it comes out from right behind your ear and then it goes down and attaches right on the trap. And the job of that spinal accessory nerve is to move your trap 
And it also helps to move a muscle on the front part of your neck called your, uh, your SCM, our sternocleidomastoid, if you want to be fancy. What happens over time as that scar tissue gets bigger and bigger in all those muscles, eventually that nerve gets stuck there. And nerves are built with like extra slack and um, just some movement because they have to make their way through the body, like about 15% extra slack like a rubber band. But what happens over time is that scar tissue gets bigger and bigger and eventually it gets stuck there. And that will present with some numbness, some aching, some burning, some tension, and some pain. And that's gonna be a big problem too when the nerves get stuck. So once scar tissue forms, you know, a lot of people, they, they, they say to me or they come into my clinics, they're like, how in the hell did I get scar tissue? I never had a direct injury. I thought you could only get that with an injury. It's like, no, like 90% of um, problems with scar tissue are just from repetitive overuse stuff, you know, our modern society and sitting in bad postures and not moving how we should. And scar, the, the beauty of scar tissue is it's really the most common cause of decreased flexibility and weakness. It's also the most fixable problem out there as well, which is really good. So in order to break down scar tissue in a muscle, it takes a specialist. It takes someone that's what I call a soft tissue specialist. That's what I do. That's all I do is I'm a soft tissue specialist. So in order to break that scar tissue down, what you need first is what's called proper depth. So basically, you get to a provider, they figure out exactly where that scar tissue is based off some tests and some palpations, and then they know right where to go. They're not just treating the whole area. They know exactly where to go. I always say it's the difference between being like a a shotgun approach versus a sniper. The sniper is the one you want to get because they're going to get in there and get it every single time. So what they do is they put the muscle in a shortened position. Then they get proper depth on the muscle. Then they get proper tension. And then they have you as the client go through a full range of motion as they're keeping depth and tension in there. And as they do that, over time, it creates a lot of friction and that breaks down that scar tissue. And as we break that scar tissue down, all that bad stuff breaks free, all the junk that's in there. And this allows what's, uh, allows blood flow and oxygen to get back into the muscle, which in turn makes it healthier, stronger, and more flexible. Now, breaking down a nerve entrapment is a little different. And this is where people mess up a lot. You know, this is what they're seeing here. You know, um, he was saying, Andy, I think it was Andy. Yeah, Andy was saying that he beats the hell out of the trap with a lacrosse ball or he gets a really deep tissue massage. And what they're really doing is you're actually making that nerve really angry. The nerve doesn't need as much depth. It needs way less depth. It's the same concepts. You know, the put it in a shortened position, get some depth, and then some tension. Now, nerve entrapments, they need way less depth and they actually need more tension to break free. So basically set it up, less depth, more tension, and then that full range of motion as well. As that does that, that scar tissue breaks free around that muscle that's stuck to the nerve, which in turn frees it up. Because when nerves get stuck, it's a big, big problem because your body's number one thing is they need to protect your nervous system. And if your nerves are compromised, everything's going to tighten up. So the traps are tightening up for a reason. It isn't just because you have tight traps. It's because the traps are trying to protect that nerve, you know, and so many people just think so basic. They're like, well, it's tight. I got to stretch it. It's weak. I got to strengthen it. You have to get to a provider that can say why these things are happening and be able to effectively know the cause. Because I always say, if you don't know what a problem is in the first place, there's no way in hell you can actually fix it. So let's go through each of the treatments that Andy's doing and why they're not working. First is uh, stretching. Stretching. Yep. So remember I said the components are proper depth, then tension, then full range of motion. Stretching has no depth and no tension. So doesn't really do anything. Next one is the foam roller. Now you get some of that superficial depth, but no tension again. So not really lining up. Now the lacrosse ball, what's going on here? Way too much depth. You're just jamming that nerve or that muscle into the bone and into the ball. And you're not actually able to generate any tension. Now deep tissue massage, what's going on here? Once again, way too much depth. Maybe they'll, they might use their elbows, beat the hell out of you. You think, oh, it's, it hurts like hell. It must be doing something, but they're not generating any tension. And adjustments, I talk about this all the time. I have a chiropractic degree and I've never done an adjustment in my own practice. It doesn't do anything. I have a whole episode about that. But in this situation, they're not even addressing the soft tissue component. So no wonder it's not helping or producing any long lasting results. So if this problem is in here, there's an order in which the problem needs to be addressed. So the scar tissue started first in the muscle 
then it went to the nerve. What we have to do here first is we have to treat the nerve first and free up that nerve intention, because that nerve uh, entrapment. Because basically what happens is if we don't fix that, everything else is gonna kind of go back where it is. Because the nerve is like the hierarchy, the most important thing. If the nerves don't work right, nothing else works right. So we kind of gotta reverse engineer it and go back and treat the nerve entrapments first, then we treat the muscles. So what kind of providers, you know, you're like, oh, this, yeah, this makes sense. When I explain to people like scar tissue, what it is, how they got it, they're like, this makes total sense. And they're like, why aren't other providers doing this and, and, and providing these treatments. I'm like, well, it takes a long time to learn and it's hard to do. And most, most people just want a shortcut and they're allergic to details and they don't want to actually be great. They just want to try a bunch of random stuff and never really get to the root cause of what's going on. So what type of provider would you want to look for? Um, especially the ones that can fix the problem effectively and create long lasting pain relief. They're going to be soft tissue treatment experts, um, skilled in first knowing exactly what and where the problem is. Then they take approach. They take an approach, like I said, where they use their hands to get proper depth and proper tension. Then they have you go through a full range of motion, exactly what I described. You know, they're more of like a sniper approach as opposed to like a shotgun approach. And a lot of times they're gonna do a shorter treatment, but more effective, you know, like a 15 or 20 minute treatment as opposed to like an hour, hour and a half, because a lot of times if you just beat the hell out of the muscle and you're not getting the components of depth tension and breaking that down, it's actually not fixing anything at, at all. So what I also wanted to include in wherever you're you're consuming this today is I wanted to include in this episode, um, hold on, I got a note here. I want to include in this episode a demonstration of what treatment looks like to get that um, nerve entrapment fixed. Uh, it's me actually demonstrating how I do treatment that cell, myself on that accessory nerve. And you'll get to see the components about what makes it different, how it's more effective and getting right to the point about what's going on and getting that problem fixed the best that we can. So I'll include that in the show notes with a demonstration exactly how all of that is done. So thank you so much, Andy, for that question. And I hope all of you listening out there, I hope it helped and kind of give you some answers about what's going on. That's why we started the Injuries Explained Project, just to get some answers, because people are getting jacked around by the medical system, not getting real answers. So in closing, you know, I actually train providers all over the world in this advanced scar tissue treatment, like I demonstrated in the video and what I'm talking about. There are those providers out there. There's not a ton of them, but there are ones out there that are committed to excellence and actually fixing problems that other providers cannot. So if you do find yourself wanting to get this problem fixed, you can reach out to us uh, directly with the email in the show notes and we can see if there's one of those awesome providers in your area. If you've been dealing with a problem for a long time, you haven't got any real answers about what's going on, you're tired of getting jerked around, you can reach out to us directly and request an injury consultation with me. Um, all the information to do that is available in the show notes or wherever you're consuming this information. And you know, honestly, think to yourself, if you keep going to the same providers and you're not getting any results, maybe you've been there for five, 10, 15, 20, I've had some people that have been going every week for two years, they're not any better. You gotta stop working with those people because at the end of the day, results rule, period. You have to get results. And if they're not helping you, then don't waste your time, don't waste your money. Get to a provider that can actually fix your problem. And if they're really worth their salt or whatever they say, they're gonna be someone that can get you in a pretty good place uh, in about six to 12 visits. Um, so if you're on like visit 20, 30, 40, and you ain't any better, they're not gonna fix you. You gotta get away from those people. Uh, you can do me a solid by sharing the show with other people that you know it could help, um, help educate the population a little bit more about what's going on, give a different perspective, and help people get properly educated. And lastly, any questions that you have uh, for MMA, uh, MMA, sorry, for AMA, um, you can send those in to me. And all the information to do that is available in the show notes or wherever you're consuming this content. I really appreciate you guys sending in those questions and supporting the show. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.